Ha ha! For all my hotties, a very good evening to you. It's just me, Scotty McLeod, scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for every nation across the world. Welcome, 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 I say. A little bit bright there. I'll just move that to the side. Excellent stuff. And you should be able to see a bit more of me tonight. Somebody said, all we could see of you last week was uh, the top of your head. So I thought, right, we'll have to sort that. So there you go. So hopefully you can see a little bit more this week and a big dinky do to you. We've got the top chat running, of course. So we'll be looking forward to your reactions. Now then, I thought tonight we'd have a discussion about everything that's been going on. And, of course, uh, we've had the passing of Her Majesty the Queen. Now, Her Majesty the Queen was a Christian lady. She was the Supreme Governor of the Church of England, and uh, she was Defender of the Faith. She believed in God. I want to know, do you believe in God? And if you do, what form does God take? Hello, Scotty. Hello, Pip. Lovely to have you with us. You, sir. Uh, 524, thank you for following. Followers of Sir Jacan, Celtic fan. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you for following. Excellent stuff. Live phone in tonight. Now I'm going to open up the phone lines as well. So we should be able to get sorted out there too. That would be rather good. Uh, excellent stuff. Uh, I miss Queen Elizabeth already, and I believe in God, says Mega Chelsea. Hi, Scotty. How are you? Says Susan. We're excellent, Susan. You should hopefully be able to see a little bit more of me tonight. And uh, hopefully that's better from your point of view as well as everyone else's. Wonderful stuff. There's Her Majesty the Queen there. We can see on the TikTok. A uh, little bit difficult to see on this one. Hang on. See if I can just sort it a little bit. And if not, we will get that sorted in time. Uh, Numpty Heed, will you get on with the phone in instead of blethering, Scotty? Numpty Heed, the blethering is very, very important, and you need to learn to listen. That's what I say. Dinky do, and welcome every day. So lovely to have you all with us. Wonderful stuff. Hello, Scotty. Thank you for following. So lovely to have you with us and for subscribing as well. There's Neil. Uh, I imagine the Queen will be well missed. Hi, Scotty. Long time no see. Dinky do. Kirsty, how lovely to have you back with us, and a big dinky to you as well. Fantastic cameraman slip there, I would say, if ever I've seen it before. Uh, I've not spoke to you in ages. Well, you need to phone me. I'm just going to open the lines so people can ring in and we can hear your chit-chat. That would be absolutely marvellous, and I'm looking forward to it. So there we have it. Just moving that away out the road a wee bit. So there you go. Right. Line should be open now, guys. Let's get on with it. And the number, of course, 0141 628 Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Gordon. How lovely to have you with us, and thank you for following. So good that you could join us tonight. This is excellent. We are, of course, across the globe, and that's what everybody likes. We like that tremendous stuff. Now then... You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Dinky do, Scotty. How you doing? Ah, well done. You're on shot first, tonight. First on buzzer, Scotty, tonight. You were first on the buzzer, la. How are you, yeah, Glenn? Yeah, I'm not too bad, Scotty. Uh-huh. Different changes at seasons now, isn't it, with weather? Oh, the there's a change in the weather. I can tell you that from now. It's changing a little bit now, really. Yep. You can feel that. Sea breeze coming in. And quite, tell me this, Glenn. What are you thinking of the fact you could see a little bit more of me on the YouTube? Yes, yeah, decent, Scotty. To be fair, is that better? Yes, yeah, a lot better. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody was chatting last week. They said, "I can only see the top of your head." <laughs> I liked your Queen photo, Scotty. By the way, you know your Royal Highness. The, the the which one was that? Queen Elizabeth. The second. I love the photo what you had last week. Oh, I've, I've got it back up. You'll see it on the TikTok. Yeah, brilliant. You know, we'll we'll get there. We'll do a bit more adjustment so everything just gets better and better all the time, Glenn, you know? What did you what did you reckon to the old event then, Scotty, on Monday? Oh, my goodness me. I mean, it was tremendous. What a fantastic yeah. piece of planning. Now, 
I know it's been planned for some time, but this was absolutely outstanding and everyone carried off the role. I saw an old movie of Queen Victoria's funeral and the background, you know the young sailors pull the gun carriage with the coffin? Well, the background to that was Queen Victoria's funeral. It took place in Windsor and they were going up. It was winter, it was January. And they were going up a steep slope and the traces broke. The horses were struggling with the gun carriage. Oh, yeah. The traces broke, so the young sailors stepped in and pulled it. And that's been yeah. kept as a tradition at raw weddings, oh, yeah. you know. Quite fantastic. Well, it sounds amazing, Scotty, to be fair. Wonderful stuff. So that's it, Glenn. What's happening with your good self? I oh, just um, spending a couple of days in Sheffield, been watching football and stuff. Yeah. Excellent. You enjoy? It's not. We won anyway. That was the main thing. That's it. That's it. They used to say, it's not the winning, it's the taking part. But come on, Glenn. We're, We're men of the world, you know? The, the way it goes these days, it's all about money, Scotty, and in football. Yeah. A lot of it is, and, sadly. Yeah. Know, it's commercial stuff, really, Scotty, to be fair, isn't it? Yeah, a lot of it is. Let's I have mean, it straight. Yeah. It's like you said before, uh, tongue in cheek, uh, Celtic and Rangers joining up and all local rivalries merging up, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, they dump the local rivalry, that's what I say. There's you no know, need like for as it. One, as one franchise, just join up as one. Yeah, just join up as one, go for it. Because, I, I mean, when they finish, by the time they finish game, though, Scotty, let's be fair about it, they all shake hands with each other. Yeah, of course, so they should as well. They're footballers. And also, in your case, they're, they're, they're Sheffielders. Yeah, exactly. You know. You, don't get me wrong, you get one or two um, overseas players and that, you know, applying the trade and things, but you, there is one or two local lads inside. What we need to encourage in the likes of Glasgow and Liverpool is handshaking from the fans. Yeah, but... You know, you know what the problem is, though? You've got, I've said to you before, you get fans fighting amongst each, other, amongst each other, Scotty, you know, just following the same team if you've got a difference of opinion. Yeah, there, there shouldn't be any of it's, that. It's an entertainment, isn't it? Yes. Some sort. Now you're talking, you know, that's what it's about, la. You go, you go in there, they don't represent you. you just got to watch it. If it doesn't work out... So be it. So be it. Absolutely. Glenn, a joy talking to you. I'm going to dash on, but you take That's great care, La. Thank you, Scotty. Have a good evening, anyway. Thank you, La. Thanks for your call. Yeah, Much appreciated. Yeah. What a top man. That's our Glenn. Excellent stuff. Lovely to hear from him. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue. Hashtag float high. First Lord of the Internet. There we are. You should be able to see a little bit more of me on YouTube tonight. So get on there and spread the word. Now then, who have we got here? I never knew that, says Christy. Yes, there you are, Christy. I like this picture of you much better. Thank you, Mega Chelsea. There's more to come. We're just adjusting things. Rangers versus Liverpool's atmosphere will be uh, ferocious at both grounds. Yes, but I think there needs to be a lot more handshaking. Hey, let us shake him by the handler. Oh, hey, no problem at all. Could you say hi to Leslie Ann and Leah? Of course I can, Sandy. Uh, better looking at history. Now, Gordon, this is our second subject for discussion tonight. One is, do you believe in God? The Queen was a committed Christian and had a very strong belief in a higher power, in a supreme being. So there you are. So do you believe in God? And if so, what form does God take? And our second subject for discussion tonight, and I think this is really very, very important as well. Should we be apologizing for history? All right. So I want your comments on that. The telephone number 0141 628 9795. Get on with it. Let's hear from you. A beautiful picture of Queen Elizabeth Scotty. Do you like that? Uh, she was a committed Christian. She was born and raised in times where religion was more prominent. Yes, Paul, but why is religion less prominent now? I mean, I heard the other day that in Northern Ireland, for the first time ever, there are more Catholics than Protestants. 